I scream, you scream for another Siege Seeker Mold. Yay! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformer Shattered Glass Starscream. And I think this figure here is the last one that wraps up this Wave 1 of Hasbro's new Shattered Glass series. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Starscream right there behind the plastic. Transformers, Shattered Glass. The box is that weird angled box, which is actually pretty cool looking. You've got Starscream right there on the corner. This side of the box, you've got Starscream opening fire with his Null Ray. On the back, Starscream in robot mode and vehicle mode. This side of the box is more of the same artwork. Also, since this Starscream here came from Hasbro Pulse, it came with an included comic book, all sealed in plastic with a backing. So now, without further ado, let's get the heroic Starscream opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Shattered Glass Starscream all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. But you should know how to transform this figure by now, because this, I believe, is the 10th version of this mold. Of course, you had the original Siege Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, followed by the Cybertron Skittle Squad. Then you had Red Wing, Hot Link, and lastly, the Sparkless Seeker. Starscream also comes with these two Null Rays, done in a nice white, and then his extra accessory for the Shattered Glass line, this really cool sword. I love this thing. Done with a red handle and a translucent blade. I think this thing really pops. I know I always say I hate translucent plastic, but that's on my box. I love it when it's used for a weapon. And as an energy blade, this is really cool. I like how you can look right through and see Starscream behind the sword. That is awesome. Plus, this thing splits in two so he can dual wield. How sick is that? I love this. So now let's take a closer look at Shattered Glass Starscream himself. Now, I went ahead and gave Starscream all of his weaponry. I attached the Null Rays up there on the upper arms, you know, where they're supposed to go. But these do have a 5 millimeter peg, so you can put them in his hand. You can attach them to the forearms, leave them attached to the wings, whatever you want to do. I love the sword. The sword looks so good in the hands of Starscream. But be advised, when you have the sword combined in its uh, single form, you want to make sure not to push the handle all the way into the fist because if you do that, the fist is going to separate the secondary handle causing the swords to pop apart. Now this long handle here, you do have plenty of room to put the longer handle. Hey, that was a nice move there, Starscream. There's plenty of handle right there to push down to the point where the secondary handle is just touching the fist and he holds the sword perfectly. So just watch out for that. Now, as I said earlier, 
this star scream is nothing but a repaint of the existing siege mold so this review is going to be more of a comparison if you want to see a full review on one of the siege molds man i have plenty of them check out my review of the original siege star scream in the link above now when i first saw pictures online of shattered glass star scream i really wasn't that impressed with him i just didn't like all of the white and the red but once getting him in hand i love him he looks so good and the white really makes all of the molded details really popped and not to mention i love the face sculpt face sculpt looks really really good it's the solemn expression from the siege seeker mold instead of the smirky face that i have on starscream here now starscream originally had a solemn face and i traded his head out with thundercrackers which looks a lot better now the siege starscream or excuse me shattered glass starscream there is some clear plastic right here so he can do some light piping but it's not that great let me see if i can get this to shine through i mean it's his eyes are so small it really doesn't pop like some of the other figures with the light piping he's got a red decepticon logo there on the chest I mean, great paint applications for what he has. There's not a lot of them, but what he does have really, really pops. And I think these two look great together. And now real quick, I guess I should have shown this a while ago. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Starscream looks like with both swords in his hand. He's got the dual wield option here. Go ahead and put this sword in this hand. That is a tight fit for that second handle. There we go. And let's go ahead and rotate this around so the blade is facing forward. And that looks pretty sweet. I dig it. I mean, this figure is so cool, especially considering it's a figure or a mold that I have tons of. So let's go ahead and take a look at Shattered Glass Starscream in jet mode. In Tetra Jet mode, Shattered Glass Starscream looks great. I love the clean white look. He just looks so good. And I really dig the extra added paint applications right there along the nose. Because if you compare him to the original Siege Starscream, there really wasn't that many paint applications on the nose other than the tip that uh, Shattered Glass Starscream does not have. So they really look a lot different. Another thing I like is the Decepticon insignias on the wings opposed to how the siege versions had them up here on the main body i just think on the wing looks better for a jet also as you can see the swords mount really good on the jet and actually add to the silhouette of the fighter i mean i dig that that looks awesome they attach right there on the wing and then of course you attach the guns underneath on the arms to really give it a unique look opposed to the siege version another thing i like and i think i bragged this on many of the siege repaints is they fix the chest area here because on starscream the first of these molds this section here popped off every time you tried to transform it no longer a problem with the newer mold so yeah this thing looks really cool like the blue cockpit right there lots of nice details and not to mention the jet fire look really comes through in tetrajet mode so there you go guys transformers shattered glass starscream in tetrajet mode and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers shattered glass starscream with shattered glass megatron and man those two look really good together earthrise starscream and generation one starscream Transformers Shattered Glass Starscream is another great addition to the Shattered Glass line. This figure really surprised me because when I first saw him, I thought, oh man, not another Seeker mold, but Starscream's white and red color scheme really work. Not to mention, I love the sword that he comes with. It's just so cool. So there you go, guys. Shattered Glass Starscream. So... Does a Transformers Shattered Glass Starscream belong in your collection? Well, if you're collecting the Shattered Glass line, absolutely. If you love the Seeker Mold, absolutely. 
And if you're a Starscream fan, absolutely. This is a great figure and a good way to top off the end of the Shattered Glass line, if that's what it is. You know, I've not seen any information anywhere if this line's going to continue. And I hope it does because I'd like to see more heroic Decepticons. Though I'm not that big a fan of the heroic look as I am the evil Autobots. I think those evil collar schemes are awesome. But nonetheless, this is a great figure. And I love the addition of the sword energy weapons. That is so cool. And he just looks awesome. That's how he's going to display on my shelf. So yeah, if you see this guy, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!